Howdy folks, it's the Tall Turner and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we're going to check out the, well I shouldn't say the next track because it already happened, but we're going to check out the latest Formula 1 circuit, Red Bull Ring, which you can see right there, it's right off the end of the runway, runway, go left, Red Bull Ring, so there was the race already in real life and um, somebody won, but the exciting part was the battles for second and third and that stuff. Very exciting moments. Race overall was okay, but the moments here and there made it worth it. Um, I did miss half the race, the first half, because I'll take care of my puppy, but anyway, it was fine. Second half was better anyway. Uh, Royal Weather turned on today. Where are we, by the way? I told you Red Bull Ring, but we're actually in, is it Spielberg? Um, Spielberg, yeah. The ring is in Spielberg, Austria, but there's a, there's a property line here. The airport is technically in, I don't know how do you say it, Zeltvig, Zeltvig or something like that. But Spielberg for the Red Bull Ring. So we're going to take off from here, get the full name and code and everything in the description below, and then we'll probably land here. <laughs> I don't think we have a reason to um, um, go somewhere else. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, we flew in here in the previous video, though, and then... We're going to do our VFR flight, and then the next video we'll fly out of here and go on to the next F1 race, which is Silverstone, British. They're also filming a movie there using that track, so that'll be interesting. But today let's focus on this area. I'm just getting a very beautiful look around with the drone, which kind of defeats the purpose of having an airplane below us. But anyway, we'll fly around and check this place out. So in case you haven't been following the channel, we are following the F1 season this year formula one i'm a big fan of formula one because it's so dang technical um that's why i enjoy it so we're flying ifr from location to location and then we're doing a vfr of the location for every formula one track this season of course we're doing other flights and minecraft videos in between but this is our big project this year and it's been super fun so we're in the beaver um we flew this before briefly i think of course, in X-Plane, we flew this all the time, but in Microsoft Flight Simulator, I think we've flown it once only. So anyway, I'm using my checklist from my, um, the, da 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 da, da what am I saying, from the um, X-Plane days with the payware aircraft. So we'll see how this goes. My notes here say I modified this, but I don't remember modifying this. So anyway, park and brake is set. It's right there now it's set reset my controls already did fuel and passengers um why don't i have this what hang on how come i don't have this like in my view why isn't sometimes views get changed x plane did that too is that supposed to be four um where you get your view set up and then they're a little different sometimes later it doesn't make any sense Oh, let's do a chrome spinner. Why not? Uh, we could do a complete cold and dark having all this stuff on. Um, I guess I can show you what that looks like. Ooh, look at that. Hmm, have some privacy, if you know what I mean. There we go. Check it out. Actually, no, there's no privacy. Uh, passenger. Yeah, we'll do passenger. That's fine. Um, doors. I guess you can do your doors. Cool. Can I do that from here? Why am I cursor flashing? That's kind of bizarre. Come back, please. Thank you. Okay, fuel and passengers. That was a complicated way to do fuel and passengers. Um, what are we going to do? Pilot, co-pilot. Let's just do some children very briefly. Um, like that. Get a 200 or 200. Get a reasonable weight for... My friend and myself. There we go. Okay. Super easy. Alrighty. Um, master battery and alternator on. That's over here, if I can remember. And um, fuel select fullest tank. Center tank today. Um, beacon on. Beacon. There it is. Why is my cursor being a butthole? Anyway, mixture rich. Uh, I can't see anything. Oh, because it's up here. Mixture is rich. Throttle quarter of the way. Uh, when do we prop? Props are later. Ignition both. Prop
primer four strokes. Wait, that can't be right. Why would you do the ignition both now and then primer and then wobble pump? That's not right. Wobble pump is here. We want the pressure to be... Where's it on this one? Well, let's do the wobble pump and see where it goes. Oh, here it is. Wobble pump. There we go. Wobble pump once. Whoops. Go back into position, please. Thank you. Is it too high now? It's coming down. We need the primer, which I think is over here. Is it over here in this airplane? No, where's the primer in this one? Um, primer, where are you in this one? And the other beaver was down here, wasn't it? Like, you go way over here. Yeah, right here. It's still there. Primer. And then wobble pump, because our pressure went down. See, look. Our pressure went down. There's five, and now we do ignition? Whoa, come here. What is with this thing? I guess I could have been fine. I don't know. It just seems weird that you do that way, but maybe that's how you do it. Starter on, and then it should start up. Our pressure is back down, whatever. Okay. I guess we'll keep it that way. Ignition on, primer four strokes, and then wobble pump, and then starter on. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what does this say? We want 1,000 on the RPMs. Uh, we're not getting 1,000. There we go. Whoa. There we go. All right, what is next? Radio switch on. That's down here, right? Right up there. There we go. Uh, flight plan. We don't have a flight plan. We're just going to fly over to the north and check out Red Bull Wing. Red Bull Ring. And then land in the same place, I think. Um, and there any other airports nearby? Yeah, I mean, yeah, there are in the mountains and in the valleys, but we'll just we'll just come back here and land, I think. Um, weather ATIS, do we have any of that good stuff? We do have an ATIS, let's have a listen to what's going on. Southwick Airport Information Uniform 1500 Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility 6 and heavy rain. Sky condition, few clouds at 1,800 feet, ceiling 4,800 feet overcast. Temperature 17. Dew point. One zero. Altimeter tree zero decimal zero tree. Visual runway zero eight right and visual runway zero eight left in use. Landing and departing runway zero eight right and runway zero eight left. VFR aircraft say direction of flight. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact. You have uniform. All right, here we go. Let's tune in ground. Let's do depart north. Zeltwick Ground, Turtle Soup, Tango, 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 4-1, request taxi for north departure with uniform. Turtle Soup, Tango, 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 4-1, taxi 2, and hold short of runway 08 right via taxiway Bravo. Contact tower on 118.7 when ready. Taxi 2 and hold short runway 08 right using taxiway Bravo, Turtle Soup, Tango, 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 4-1. Already, I already did the strobe lights. There are no taxi lights. Let's do flaps to take off, which is the second one, I think. Yep, there we go. Um, and begin our taxi. Where are we going to taxi? We're going to turn around behind us. And we're going to zigzag, ziggity zag. And then we're going to go runway 8, which is all at the end. So, okay, very simple. And then we'll just immediately. Head to the north. And check our Red Bull Ring. I love this weather. This is beautiful. Like, this is the most perfect real world weather we've had in a long time. Look at the... What? Okay. Yep. Hold position. Turtle suit tango. Tango, tango, four, one. Oh, we're going to go ring around the rosy here. What's going on? Do, 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 do. I'm just going to keep going because I don't see any other traffic. But look at the rain blocking our view. And oh my gosh, it was like this during the race. Too. No, it was like this during qualifying. Or the sprint. Tango, I mean. Tango, 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 continue taxi. Roger, turtle soup. Tango, 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 4-1. Because it was a sprint weekend. So qualifying was on Friday. It was okay. In terms of weather, sprint Saturday. They did all on inters because of the rain. And then um, Sunday was... Um, dry 
But yeah, so this kind of was matching the weather for the weekend, which would make sense since the weather's turned on. I'm doing this Sunday night after the race, right? Yeah, I don't know what time it is. I'm so irritated. I'm so screwed up with the puppy still. Anyway, let's taxi along here, and I'll see you at the end of the runway, I guess. Not much going on in between. We'll see the weather as we take off as well. All right, we're about coming up on our line. Look at this sun up there. I forgot to even check what time of day it is. Maybe it's on the clock inside if there is one. Um, I just randomly moved this slider so that we'd have some daylight. And the sun is up in the sky, all obscured by the weather. How awesome is that? Let's see if we can find our way here from inside. And I should switch to takeoff clearance as soon as we get up here and stop. So let's pull back on the yoke and hit the brakes. Ooh. There we go. Take off clearance from tower. Zeltwick Tower Turtle Soup Tango Tango Tango. 41 ready at runway 08 right departure to the north. Turtle Soup Tango Tango Tango. 41 altimeter tree zero decimal zero tree wind calm north departure approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 08 right. Cleared for takeoff runway 08 right Turtle Soup Tango 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 41. Alright, props four line lights on. Nav lights on. Confirm my flaps at APU heat on. Note the time on the clock. Is there a clock? Probably over here somewhere. Uh, 5.30 just about. Mixture rich and go. So the only thing we didn't do was the fuel boost thing, which is not on my checklist for this airplane. So I guess we didn't need it. <laughs> uh, we're going to take off and check out Red Bull Ring. Here we go. Are we good? Maybe we're great. Hop inside. Can't see a dang thing. But that's how this goes. And come on now. I do have real traffic turned back on. I turned it off for Montreal because it was so busy. But it's on now. And there's nothing else going on, I guess. Um, I have a friend who's from Austria. And she never even heard of this place. I mean, she knew Red Bull is from there. But she never heard of the Red Bull ring. She never heard of Spielberg. So I guess it must not be as popular as a place as I thought. Brakes us up, the wheels, gears fixed, flaps coming in one until we get to climb. And there we go. Lighting lights off, we're going to keep it on because of the weather, mixture as needed. That's it. Cruise, Tango, monitor Tango, things. Tango, Tango, Tango. Simple Tango, as that. Zeltwig Tower Turtle Soup Tango, 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 4 1, continue for north departure. All right, actually, we're going to go south because before we check out Red Bull Ring right there, we're actually going to fly around the town a little bit, because why not? Why don't we fly around the town a little bit? All right, throttles back, trim down. We don't want to go much higher than this. We want to stay nice and low. And we bring flaps all the way now. There's a Red Bull Ring in this entirety, and we'll talk about it in a moment. I just want to talk about the town, because why not? Actually, let's go up here and do a figure eight pattern. Let's check this out as well. Take a screenshot. Maybe this will work as a screenshot. I don't know. Um, maybe if I go back. <laughs> Trying to get a good thumbnail here, but it's hard because I'm flying the plane. Alrighty. Let's stay inside as long as we can for some immersion here. Here's your Spielberg, and then behind us is Zelt Zeltvig. Something like that. Well, this still keeps downloading data and trying to catch up here. Ooh, we're in the rain. Let's bring props back, or throttles back a little bit. So quit climbing. I guess we can keep our speed up though, so we'll trim down. There we go. Look at that. One thing to notice about the Red Bull Ring, the racetrack, which you don't see on TV, is the elevation. Like the steep hills, and there are some baked corners on that one. I'm really distracted by the mountains, though. What's your VSI say? Oof, we're climbing 2,000 feet per minute, huh? Let's not do that. That is so cool. Now what are we doing? Now we're descending. Okay. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Oh, beautiful. Hop outside a little bit. Not completely immersive from the outside, but it still looks good. Although, with these 360 cameras these YouTubers have, you can put your 
um, cam around the tail on a selfie stick and it looks just like this and it can make it look like this if it's on the wing and it can make it look like this if it's on the wing and so now you have YouTube videos that look exactly like this and I have all these people flying in the nicest areas of Microsoft Flight Simulator and they're like asking what is real and what is the sim and a lot of times the sim looks more real <laughs> than the real deal well that's beautiful so check those videos out if you can I don't have any names in particular but um although Trent Palmer did one but wasn't as in your face as some of the others but um yeah with these 360 cameras and selfie sticks and daring pilot and flight simulator maxed out you can't tell the difference between real life and the sim um it's pretty wild but i knew that day would get here because even flight simulator 2004 if you turned off all the scenery and just used the default mesh and flew at like 20,000 feet, 15,000 feet, it looked real below you. As long as you had all the objects turned off, but that was no fun when you got closer to the ground. So I knew the day would be here when people wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the sim and real life. And we're already here. Alrighty, so we're going to check out Zeltvig, or whatever you pronounce it, up here. And then we'll head over to Red Bull Ring and check it out briefly with the drone. And then we'll um, come back and land. So quick and easy. The longest part of the flight was the taxiing, which I cut out for you anyway. All right, storm's coming in. Bring my throttles a little bit so we don't get into the clouds. I'm pretty sure there's not going to be any icing, but I don't want to have to worry about it because we don't have icing in this airplane, I don't think. Pretty sure there's no icing. I mean, there's the pedo heat, but... Um, well, actually, let's turn this down a little bit. Turn that down. There we go. There we go, my instrument light on from earlier, and it was so bright. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Alrighty, let's head towards Red Bull Ring before we get too much into the mountains. That's a good shot, too. There we go. You have to see which one of these shots ends up being the thumbnail. Oh, how nice is this? A little... A little VFR flight in the valley. Alrighty, let's keep an eye on our six pack though, because I think we're descending. We are. Let's coordinate that turn. There we go. And stop descending, please. Get a little bit more throttle here. So we can keep our speed up and stop descending. There we go. Very nice. It only takes a bump of that throttle and everything changes, man. You gotta be ready. Alright, Red Bull Ring right in front of us. We will come over here actually, and then. Turn to the right, take out the drone once you're over it, and then have a look-see. And then enjoying the views on the way, look at that. Just below the clouds, in the weather. Oh yeah, I forgot, I told my friend I was going to take screenshots of the area. Um, so I better do that, huh? <laughs> I told her I would take screenshots from the simulator. So I'm taking a whole bunch of screenshots. To email her. Um, yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay, cool. Alrighty, are we over the ring yet? Not quite. I just don't want to get too close to the mountain. But here we go. We're almost there. And we'll take out the drone. And we'll have a look. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Alrighty, once engine are to control, which they are. Actually, no, they're not. Make one to control. Oh, we gotta level off that VSI. Because when you do active pods, you still, your engines still do stuff. So you gotta be careful. Or else you can blow stuff up. Right? Active pods, good enough for right now. See, everything is still moving down there. Because it keeps doing stuff. So. How about that with the drone? There we go. We'll have to reset that. It's crooked. And here we go. There is a Red Bull ring in its entirety. How can I make this into a screenshot? Um, I want to get this in the thumbnail if I can. We'll try that. Anyway, there it is. Pretty straightforward. The paddocks and start-finish liner here. 
They go this direction. They come up here, very, very steep hill. We'll go down there to the drone and see if it um, makes sense. And then just go around zippity doo da. It's the shortest track on the circuit. Um, some of the F1 drivers who are daring enough to complain about it, they say that it's not an F1 track. It's a motor GP track. So there's some things that make Formula One frustrating, I guess. But they won't all say that. Um, and it's on the calendar now until at least 2030, I guess. But anyway, you can see some of the elevation in the sim. And on TV, you can hardly see anything unless they put the camera at a certain angle and point it out. But, um, and then look at this, all the way back down the hill. So look at this. The, the drone is not crooked. This is actually the elevation. It is in the side of a mountain. So you come up this huge hill, and then you do some zigzagging as you come down the hill. So it's pretty crazy. Um, but very short. It takes less than a minute, I think. I think it was a man. Yeah, was it less than a minute? I can't remember if it was a minute, two, or less than a minute per lap. Um, but it was an okay race. Um, I feel like a lot of the races are getting less and less exciting. Like, now that everybody's cars are... The packages are pretty much set for now. Max Verstappen usually wins by like 30 seconds or more. There aren't any reliability issues with any of the cars. Um... And there's like not there's like not even this one safety car per race lately because everybody just does their thing. I don't know. I mean, if you're a mid pack follower like I am, where you follow the mid pack, then it's exciting. Like this past race, there's a crazy battle for like second and third. It was awesome. It lasted like three laps. So if you like are into that stuff, you know, like the um, mid pack stuff, like I am, like, um, well, you know, if you're into it, you know what the mid pack people are, but. Um, that makes it more exciting, I guess, if you're into that. I'm really into Willow Williams, and I'm really into Austin, Aston Martin. I'm a huge Fernando fan, of course. Um, so those are fun to watch, but, you know, McLaren is doing some cool things now, but otherwise, if you're not into the mid-pack, it's boring, so my advice to you is get into the mid-pack, study the technology, all that crazy stuff, and then it, then it's exciting there, I guess. That's why I keep watching it. So there you go, there's my Formula 1 thoughts for this one, this week. They might change next week, because there is a race again next week already. Let's undo Actifos, see what's happening here. Ooh, weather came in. Oh, let's tune in the airport, and then we'll... Um, Southwick Tower Turtle Soup, Tango, 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 414,400 feet to land. Turtle Soup, Tango, 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 for one Southwick Tower. Altimeter tree 0.03, wind calm, enter right downwind, runway 08 left. Make right downwind, runway 08 left, turtle soup, tango, 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 4-1. Alright, right patterns, we're going to get over the runway here. Hopefully we're higher than any departing traffic. Right downwind, which means you make right turns, so we're going to make a right downwind in a moment. Right now we're on the right crosswind. Um, but anyway, those are my thoughts about Formula 1 this week, because there is another race next week. It is in Britain, so my plan is to get a flight from here to near Silverstone. There's not an airport at Silverstone, but there's an airport nearby, I found. So we're go from here to there, hopefully before the real-life race, and then I'll watch the real-life race, and then I'll do a VFR flight there after the real-life race. I was doing some of these before the races, and it's just better if I do them after the races. Because I can talk about a little bit too, right? So that gives me three days? Three days to get a flight in from here to there. Should be pretty short. We'll use an easy airplane. Just a quick IFR from Austria to Britain. Can't be that long. A couple hundred miles, I think. Um, so anyway, there's a racetrack in the background. There's a report at airport in the foreground. Let's start coming down. We can make a quick descent in this thing, as well as short final so as soon as we're cleared to land we'll make a tight base and tight final all right approach weather same weather as before to be on the barometer for adjustments d for gyro drift and there was some and landing lights on already flaps down as we need them approach be 90 knots make sure carburetor is set to cold and it is because i never touched it it's over here i think somewhere maybe it's the other side i can't remember 
Oh, I don't touch it, so it's already set to cold. Keep an eye on your airport, though. Land runway zero eight left turtle soup tango 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 four one. Alrighty, throttles back and nose down. So we need to descend and keep our speed the same. Landing flaps engaged already. Here we go. We're gonna nose dive this thing, take a short final approach at 90 knots, and then we'll take it from there. So let's look around super duper fast. 90 knots. Oh, we're at 90 knots now. Okay, so there we go. Keep an eye on the prize, which is back around there somewhere. So I'm adjusting my pitch to keep 90 knots. So nose down a little bit more, but we don't want to descend this much. So let's give a little bit of throttle. You use pitch for speed, throttle for ascent and descent. There's the runway there. We're on a very short pace to go into a very short final. Our speed is a little low, so let's nose down. There we go, but engage throttle so that we don't crash into the ground there we go nose down for speed throttle so we don't descend into the ground and there's 85 knots child dragger come down steep and then level out touch this well it depends on your terrain here we want to touch as soft, softly as possible to try to eliminate the bounce we have no crosswind if we were on dirt our grasp may be a little firmer, and one or two bounces is realistic and acceptable. But because it's pavement, um, let's just see what we can do. So we're going to bring back throttles, ground effect kicking in, whoop, and that three bounce. We did bounce. That's okay. One bounce is acceptable. Flaps coming in. Why do we have a stall horn when we're basically stopped? Oh my gosh, that's annoying. Uh, ground already? One one eight decimal seven turtle soup tango 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 four one. I want to make this. Oh, oh, we're gonna make it. Oofta. All right, can we get parking? No, there's no parking. Okay, fine. We'll just um find our own parking, I guess. Man, that was tough to slow down. I don't know why. Maybe we. We're going a little fast and touch jump. Anyway, one slight bounce, realistic and acceptable. I was aiming for no bounce, but that's okay. Um, I've only flown this twice now in the sim. All right, what are we doing? They're not telling us where to park. We got to find our own parking. Um, our flight was less than 15 minutes. Let's come down here. Turn the landing lights off. Turn the nav lights off. Turn the strobe off. We'll keep the beacon on. We'll turn pedo heat off. And let's try not to go off the road here. We're just going to take this because it looks cool. I don't know where we are. Flaps should already be in. Let's confirm. And they are. And all right, we're just going to find a parking spot all by ourselves here. Um, I don't know where we're going. I'm just taking this away because it's here. Let's see where this leads us. All right, I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to go over here. And we're going to camp. They're going to let us camp <laughs> in the um, grass with... My friend and how many children were in this thing with us? Like six? Yeah, we didn't think that through, did we? Nope. So let's just stop right here. Set the parking brake. Come inside. Turn all the lights off. Not difficult to do. Even instrument lights. There we go. All lights are off. Radios off. Fuel cut off. Magnetos off. And save icon. So it logged us. Um battery and alternator off come on there we go fuel tanks off um and we're going to come over here and we're going to cover it all up because we can there we go i want to see this yoke belt yep there we go awesome all right everybody we're gonna sleep here for the night um yeah yep bunch of kids <laughs> camping in an airplane did not think that through anyway hopefully you enjoyed the flight if you like what's going on here make sure you hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when all of the formula one related flights and other flights and bush trips and minecraft videos load and go live hit like even if you normally don't that way the algorithm tells people we are here and um i don't think anybody else is doing all the flight formula one races in flight simulator so I'm the only one doing that. 
And there's one more thing I was going to say that was clever and I totally forgot. Um, I don't know. Anyway, we're getting like one subscriber a day, which has been that way since I started this thing 10 years ago. So maybe if um, people hit those buttons to tweak the algorithm, more people will know we're here. I'm not in it for the numbers, but it is inspiring when my numbers go up, if that makes sense. So anyway, longer outro than normal. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.